Hello everybody, welcome to Stardew Valley. That is a game that I enjoyed way too much in the last few weeks. And that's why I decided that I'm just gonna let's play it on a new save game. I'm not even gonna go on my main save, I'm just gonna start a new one. I don't wanna do a few things different. So, let's pretend that we never played this game. So we need a name for a farmer boy. John. The farm name, let's, let's, let's call it the Aftermath Farm. Or the... Uh, oh, just the after farm. And my favorite thing. What's my favorite thing? Monster energy. Monster energy. Oh, fuck. Well, all right. Let's make it energy. <coughs> energy drink. So that's my favorite thing. P perfect. And um, I like dogs more than I like cats. So, in case you haven't noticed, Sally Valley is basically like Harvest Moon, uh, just better and for computer. So we're going to play that. And so now we're going to hit the skin. Okay, I can. Okay. I didn't know I can make myself green, blue, or any color. Just gonna go with a white guy, and uh, let's see what I have. Fuck, that's the emo. Oh, the Street Fighter. Let's let's see if we, if we find something that is. Wow. All right. Never mind. That is the emo, and that's the woman, and that's the woman. And why the hell do I have woman? F fucking heck, do. Just gonna go with the afro and shirt. Hundred ten. Okay, I'm not gonna go through this. I'm just gonna go to put this country shirt, and I'm gonna get my beard. Yeah, no, too bad there's no real long hair that doesn't look like a girl. I know that from my main save, and that, that should be working. Right, so study Valley, like Harvest Moon, just better. Let's enter the story for a little bit and see where it's coming. Alright, so we have uh, a relatively old man. And for my very special grandson. Seems like that is my grandpa that is sadly passing away, slowly but steadily. I want you to have to seal envelope. Oh yeah, that is indeed my grandpa that is passing away. So he gives me a sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Snow, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Too deep for me. Too deep for me. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Right now I'm not Eddie, though, that's what he's saying. Just don't do it. Goodbye. Now let Grandpa rest. <laughs> Good night, Grandpa. XX years later. We don't know how late that is, maybe like 15. Georgia, join us. Try for work. Oh, God damn it. This is corporate work, right, isn't it? We have a few people here that... Shit. I would be so... Hey, that guy is from Toy Story. <laughs> I would be so unhappy if I work at a place like this. Which is why I'm not doing that. <laughs> uh, there's a dead skeleton. Well, that, is, that is very nice to picture of modern society life. This guy, I, I no longer want to work. I, I feel it. Alright, alright, fuck this shit. <sighs> alright, it is time. Wow, this mouse looks fucking dirty. That's not how my mouse looks like. Hmm. Time to open the goddamn envelope. Dear John, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing has happened to me long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I have enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, after fam. That's me. Uh, it's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's a perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, oh boy. Good luck. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Lewis. Oh, Lewis, right. That is some guy in this uh, town, I guess. Anyway, alright, so. Nice introduction is done. We're gonna go to start at uh, Studio Valley. It's time for us to uh, become a farmer. So here's a few things that I'll be doing. I will prepare my farm before I meet anybody. And then I'll meet everybody. And then I do some seeds. That's what we're gonna do in the first episode. And uh, it's gonna be uh, glorious. Alright. I might cut a little bit of the meeting people away, at least uh, wait till I have actually met them all, because they are somewhere everywhere, they don't know all their routines. And in the next episode we're gonna do a little bit of a planning here, I'm, I'm, I'm a very fully planned man, I know what I'm doing. Alright, we could skip this now, or we cannot. Um, let's see who we are skipping this. 
Oh, hi. Yeah, this is Robin. My Robin, the local carpenter. Major Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you follow me. So this bus never moves. It's too bad. It might move later, but right now it's... Oh, God. Yeah, I, I totally forgot that this is how the game looks when you first start it. Not too good. This is after farm. That, that is a farm. It looks like ours. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Grant, but Jesus. Uh, what's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some soil underneath that mess. With a dedication, you'll have cleaned up in no time. I'm not gonna clean all of this up, though. I'm gonna I'll just very... I start gonna, I'm still gonna start very small, because I don't have a lot of money anyway. And here we are, your new home. Oh! Jesus. Ah, the new farmer. Hello, that is Lewis. Lewis is the guy I should say hi. Uh... Welcome, I'm Lewis, Major of Pelican Town. You know, everything has been asking about you. So every day that somebody new was in, it's quite a big deal. Hmm. Seems so, seems so. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah, it is, it's pretty rustic. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt enough. Roots! <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice emotion. Yeah, that is very rude. Don't listen to her, John. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you can buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> and she's totally shocked. She is the local carpenter, though. If I want house upgrades, like in, let's say, um, um, Animal Crossing, I have to talk to her. Um, yeah, I should go rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore town and introduce yourself. Not gonna, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. I'm gonna do some else things. Oh, and I almost forgot, if you have anything to say, just place in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Basically, he is my book up. I could sell it all myself, but it makes really no sense. Anyway. Okay, it's, it's time for me to start. And that's uh, my new farm life. Now it's saving. Oh my god, please don't tell me that this is... Oh, right. Anyway, here's my parsnip seeds. So I got a few seeds, that's good. And um, before I place them... I want to check something. So we have a crafting window right here. And right now I can't really craft a lot. I can't even craft like uh, the base, the very basics. So I want to do it really quick. And later I'm going to cut this out. But what we're going to really do quick is uh, fastly get 15, uh, cult cultivate 50 pieces of land. One, two, three, four, five. Um, because we have those parsnip seeds and we want them to grow, right? And later I will uh, craft a few things. Which becomes important because, for example, I can, if I get some wood, not only get, uh, for example, a scarecrow, which of course helps me for, uh, for not getting my shit picked by ravens, but also, let's say, um, um, uh, soil upgrades. For example, I can I can make sure that my soil grows better, or I can make sure that better stuff grows though faster, and uh, um, I kind of I kind of I, I have all the resources for that in my starting town and um, starting area. So let's just collect some stones and all of that. And um, I don't. I'm not really rich. I'm just gonna make a little bit of space here because this gonna. Otherwise, this gonna just grow even harder, which is not good. And um, here we go. And let's meet. I, I say I'm gonna cut this tree. I'm gonna show you what I mean because zip can make fertilizer. Is the name what I'm calling. Yeah. And when I have fertilizer, I can make sure everything grows better. Now I have 500 gold. And uh, that's not gonna be enough for a lot, but it's gonna be enough for a few more seeds. And. Um, that's why I'm making a little bit more space and I really want a scarecrow really early as well So I need some coal. I can buy coal though, so I'm gonna just go ahead and buy coal instead Oh, never mind. I don't need to buy it anymore. I kind of have it. <laughs> All right, so that's, a, that's it for now We have mixed seed. I'm gonna place them just because I can All right, bam here we go mixed seeds and you go. So time to meet people. So if this takes too long, I'm gonna cut a little bit of the way, but it shouldn't be taking too long. And uh, wh who we befriend and who we don't befriend, that's nothing for episode one. It's more like for episodes after. So we need fiber, that's what we need. We don't really need stone right now, so I can throw this away. And now I'm foraging some daffodils. That's because I need those stuff. They are worth a little bit of uh, money and everything else. Oh, right. Let's turn on auto run. There we go. Now I can no longer have to press shift key all the time. Wood is very important, which is why I'm not gonna at all remove it. Sadly, my inventory is still very small, so the first first big thing we're gonna get is an inventory upgrade. They are kind of expensive. Alright, so here we go. Let's meet a total of 28 people. Um, cultivate and harvest it. That's what I'm doing. So here you have all the birthdays, all the events. They are random generated? No, I don't think so. Nothing is posted here. Alright, so th this way you find quests, and let's, let's meet some people. Alright, first of all, 
Is somebody here? No, only the doctor. So we want to talk to the doctor. Hello, hello, Harvey. I'm, 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 I'm John. He's the local doctor. Every time I'm gonna kind of fuck up, I wake up here. So let's, let's, okay, first of all, we talk to this girl. Marnie, ah, Major Lewis told me I just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. I don't want to talk to you. And now we go to Pierce. So first I want to talk with this guy. This Gus. Gus is the basic guy for the saloon. The saloon is basically just a place where you can get shit. Hey, it's John. Mr. John, the new farmer. I'm here, the owner of the local general store. And here's where we get seeds, and we're gonna get that. So, now, we can get parsnip seed. We can we get a lot of parsnip seed. We don't really want that. Um, so we want to get potato seeds because they're worth a lot, and I could get something else, but I could also get the starters. Now, the way this works is after 10 days, it just made just more and more and more. I don't want that either. So I'm just going to buy potato seeds until I have no money, which is 10, and I'm going to cultivate them later. I want to do that off camera, of course, because that makes no sense. Uh, let's let's continue meeting people. And I can't in, um, enter those rooms yet. Those rooms belong to family members of this family. And I'm friends with them. So let's talk to Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Uh, and there's Abigail, their daughter. Yes, that is me. Yes, hello. All right, now I met all of those people. It's time to visit to the next location. And we're going to basically just run around and say hi to everybody we see. And hope that we can find everybody. And uh, how we make friends. So what kind of friends we make, we're going to see that next part. Because I have a little bit of a plan here. But today is the first day, so no reason to do it whatsoever. So the saloon isn't opened yet, so no reason to go there. Okay, this is this is this should be Matt. No, Alex. Yeah, I am a new guy, and he is he's the sport guy. He's the jock. So here we go. We have Evelyn, which is an old lady. I could call her Granny if I like. And then we have this asshole right here. It's called George. George is an asshole. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people. Oh no, I'm George, by the way. Now buzz off, will ya? Um, they are not really nice. Uh, she is nice, but he is an ass. So not liking them. All right, cool. Next uh, location is this trailer. Here, poor people live here. Or oh, Pam in this case. Hi, kid. Name is Pam. Don't be a jerk and we get along fine. It's pretty simple. It looks a little bit rancid, though. Generally speaking, those people are nothing you want to talk about. Uh, or with. So, what else? We have 11 a.m., so a few more locations are open. And we're gonna go there. Now we're gonna go here. And here's the... Um, Lewis, usually, and his wife, but don't seem to be here right now, so it doesn't matter. I already said hi to Lewis, anyway. He's gonna find his wife somewhere else. So... Now we're gonna run to the blacksmith. Yeah, because that guy is important. Blacksmith, hi. Gotta say hi to you, how are you? Hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you never need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Hello, Clint. Goodbye, Clint. I'm gonna come visit you a whole shit ton later, but right now, not so much. And this is... Kinsa, hello, welcome to the study of all the archaeology office. Oh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts to display, but I'm hoping to remedy it soon. Hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Basically, this guy gives you rewards for giving him all the shit that you don't need. For example, rubies. Or topaz. Or any mineral, ever. And, um... That is kind of important, because it uh, teaches you a few things I don't want to spoil. And it also gives you some other things that I don't want to spoil, so I'm not going to talk about it too much at all. Okay, nice. So, a little bit of a trick. If you see worms in the ground, you can hit it, and it drops things. Sadly, it only dropped clay, so we really don't need that, so I can throw it away. Can do other things as well. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in a little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Elliot is basically the most sophisticated guy in this city. By a long shot. I don't know how other to say it. He is the only one that uses actual English. Um, is the shop open? No, he's back tomorrow. He's currently fishing. That's the fisher guy. I'll meet him automatically tomorrow, so I not have to do this. Wasn't sure. I'm gonna check. Um, and now we're gonna go to the next place. And we're gonna go to the left. Take a sharp turn to the left. Whoop, here we go. And uh, go around the sewers. And there must be people here. So there's a house we're gonna intrude. House of Truda style. Hide your kids, hide your wife. And um, nothing is here. Oh, yes, yeah, somebody is here. Hello, Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. You were looking for something in the evening. Stop by the saloon. That's where you work. Oh, thanks. Nice nice to tell me your name. I'm just going to assume I know now that you're named Alice. Alamy, anyway. So, next guys. Okay, here's a little bit of a boy. Oh, hi, stranger. My name is Vincent. I must say it's not to talk, but you seem okay. Whatever. Hi, Mama. <laughs> You are not exactly how I mentioned, but it's okay. I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. I can talk with you again. It's a quite little town, blah, whatever. 
Is somebody else here? Because I'm pretty sure she had a daughter as well, just a small daughter. No, no, nobody here. But whatever. Let's go to the left. I'm creeping little kids. That's already an amazing um, work. All right. Here's a few more towns. Here's where you buy animals later, if you can afford them. I never cared for them. I had kind of had some of them die, actually. Oh, that is Leia. <laughs> little house, I guess. I am not friends with Leia. As a matter of fact, I haven't even met Leia yet. So let's meet Leia. Nobody here. Oh, literally. I already met that woman, so no reason to go there. Well then, uh, hmm. Could go and look if here's somebody, and there's a little bit of a wildness here. Later I will unlock the mage tower, which is also always incredible. Yes, there's an actual mage in the city. Oh, right, there's a second little kid. I want to just say hi. One, two, three, oh no, I messed up again. Oh, that's nice for you. How amazing. So I totally did meet you. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I did. Oh, I actually did. Perfect, that counts. Who cares? Who cares? So is anybody else in this wilderness? Sometimes there are, sometimes there aren't. It's not worth it uh, trying to go in this little mage tower right there because nobody is there. No, I mean somebody is there, but he's not gonna let me in. Hmm. All right. It seems like we have been overshooting our ta target goal. So how about this? I am gonna. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you again just because. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, and we're gonna meet the other people tomorrow and and in the next part. Um. And I will just go back to the farm, plant my potato seeds, and then explain a few things. Now, I'm on my farm, as you might have seen, just from the other side. And, now, well, there's a lot of grass here. I need those fibers, so I'm going to keep them for now. Sadly, I don't really have anything to stow away, so I can't really go exploring and foraging all that much right now. But I guess it's fine. So... Okay, we have 10 seeds, so we're gonna pl put an another, t another two to five fields on. Alright, one. I know my inventory is full, you don't have to tell me. Whoop! Alright, perfect. Kinda wanted to wait for this till I have like my, my, my zap. Um, I can um, use my zap but, um, to get fertilizer, but I guess I unlocked that with a little bit of a level up. So. Before I enter part to explain really shortly, if you make money with a certain thing, for example foraging, which means that you basically take stuff that you see on the ground and sell it, or with uh, planting, or with dungeoneering, which we talk later about, or blacksmithing, you earn experience for your um, jobs. And uh, there's five of them. My farming, mining, foraging, fishing, combat. And basically, depending on the levels, you get uh, perks and crafting recipes. So I guess we have that to explore for next time. Anyway, I wanted to cut this part and actually meet everybody, but <laughs> I did talk all the time. I'm not going to be able to cut this at all. So in other words, I gotta say, I will see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And welcome to Stardew Valley. After we have signing out.